If you plan on using your Sierra Wireless as a simple cellular gateway to an existing network, it is usually recommended that you configure the Sierra device in IP pass-through mode. This allows it to pass its WAN IP address directly to another router or firewall. Start by logging into the Web Administration page here. Click on the LAN tab at the top and select DHCP addressing on the left. Expand the IP pass-through section if needed. Set the IP pass-through from Disable to Ethernet. This is the most common option, but you may select another if it better suits your needs. IP pass-through mode can be set to first host or MAC address. We're going to leave it at first host, which means the first device that connects to the Sierra device will receive the WAN IP address. Next, select the Ethernet port you want to serve as the pass-through port. We'll leave the rest of the settings here as is. Click Apply to save this configuration, and then click OK to confirm the changes. Next, we need to go to the Security tab. Make sure that Port Forwarding is selected on the left and find the DMZ Host Enabled setting. Set this to Automatic, then click Apply again, followed by OK. Lastly, we'll reboot the device to complete the changes. Once the device reboots, I'm going to check my computer's IP address. Since I'm on a Mac, I'll go under System Preferences and Network. For Windows users, run a command prompt with the command ipconfig all run together. This will report back your IP information. It looks like this is the correct address as I know my Verizon static IP address starts with 166. However, I'll log back into the web administration here and confirm the IP addresses match. Now I can be certain that the IP pass-through is working and I can move the device into my existing network. That's all there is to it. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel.